welcome to my channel. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave us behind. And thank you for all your likes, subscribes, shares, and comments. I appreciate it very much. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Where is my Capricorns at right now? Juggling. Message coming in. Stability. All right. Brand new beginning in love. Brand new beginning in stability in the distant past. There are choices and options here, but you're in the juggling energy. You're juggling money. You're juggling a uh, job, family, finances. You're juggling it all, I feel like. And your challenge is this message coming in, this Eight of Wands. It's coming in quick. In your immediate future, something's coming to an end. It's coming full circle. So it's going, there's going to be a new beginning, but there is definitely an ending happening for you in the immediate future. Your uh, factors affecting the situation is you're, six, you're at the six of wands. You just won something. You've won some kind of fight or some kind of um, situation. You've won over it. Outside influence is the Knight of Wands. This is my player energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is guy, the guy that's in it for a good time, not for a long time. And then we have the star as your hopes and fears. So you, maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or you're hoping to have that wish fulfilled. Queen of Swords is <laughs> the one that takes no prisoners. All right. All right. So the final outcome is the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. That's pretty intense. Get ready for a cycle, babe. Whoever you are. Because something is definitely coming to an end here. You might be walking away from someone that hurt you. Or you're hurting someone else and walking away from them. I don't know what that means. Take it how it resonates. Let's see what's going on here. There you are. Five of Wands. Conflict. Jealousy, competition. This is somebody who has haters, all right? I feel like you want to move to calmer waters with somebody from your past. You're addicted to this. And Scorpio is coming to burn it down. I seriously feel like this is like a situation that you may have got yourself stuck in from the past. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You know it's coming at least. Conflict, jealousy. Just, I mean, just the out and out conflict. I mean, this is somebody who is just starting crap with nobody for no for no reason, and and you feel defensive. You feel like you got to hold up your 
wands to all these other people trying to trying to take from you. That's what I feel like it's telling me here. Eight of Wands. What is that about? What is this message about that this person has to get over? Because, like I said, that that's your challenge, Cap. Brand new beginning in love turned out to be burdensome. Ah! Hey! This might be a good ending for you, Capricorn. This ending had to take place so you could reap the rewards of your manifestations. Wow. A brand new beginning in love. This is your challenge. Is to, is to have this brand new beginning in love with something that is that might be a little bit heavy. Not going to lie. There might even be children involved. And there you are, the Queen of Pentacles, sharing your life with other people. This is the chariot. You might be getting a new car. <clears throat> That comes out in some of the readings, but it looks like you might be getting a new car. This chariot is bringing you absolute love. Two cups that are full, that are coming together with a passionate new beginning. So we have a passionate new love here. We have a passionate new beginning here. This is your challenge. Could be a Virgo or a Cancer. Or a Scorpio. <laughs> you got a little bit of everything here. Um, let's see what this Six of Wands is about. This victory. This person is a lot younger than you. But I think you got your point across to whoever this is. This person is younger than you, I think, or it's vice versa, you know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person and you are coming to a conclusion of possibly marriage, the happy home, happy family type energy. Could be a king of wands. Like I said, there could be children involved here. What is this Knight of Wands about? This passion that's on the outside of my Capricorns. You could have fire in your chart as well. You could be the player. Let's see what this outside influence is. Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups. Again, we have conflict, jealousy, Pissing and moaning. And somebody who's lying, cheating, stealing. Somebody who's really trying to hum humiliate you. This this Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is trying to screw up your life. They're doing everything that they can. And they are fighting you the whole way. Because they're a liar. King of Cups. Alright. Queen of Swords. This, What is the Queen of Swords about? The one that takes no prisoners. She doesn't either. She's like, she when she cuts you, she cuts you. And then she goes back to tending her garden. Sticks her knife in the table and goes back to tending her garden like nothing ever happened. Queen of Cups. Alright. 
I think that there's definitely an ending with the work situation here because you find out the truth about something. Four of Swords. Look at that face. You're going to find out the truth about something and it's going to leave you in this Nine of Swords energy. And, and, and Spirit is telling you, yes, worry about it. Because this person is betraying you and lying to you and you need to see it. You definitely need to go into that Queen of Swords energy. Okay? This could be something at work. But you need to, you need, I'm hearing you need to check your books. I don't know what that means. But there's a death happening here. There's an ending to maybe a job. Somebody just needs to make sure that everything is done right here because in that Four of Swords energy, it may be jeopardizing your employment. Whatever you have to find out there, whatever you have to look for with that Ace of Swords, that that's the, a brand new start at cutting through the bullshit and getting to the truth. Okay? Nine of Swords is the best possible outcome. Let's find out why. Oh, man. King of Wands on the bottom. Whoever this person is, Spirit wants you to recognize it. Because it's got you stuck. It's got you confused. It's gotten you betrayed. And you let it happen. All right. With all these swords here, I'm feeling like you need to really sit up and pay attention to what's going on here. Because it could cost you dearly. Never mind the love coming in, because that's, that's, that's a different subject. But this has gone from, you know, you being in love the past coming back to your job. So maybe somebody you love is somebody you work with. And they're lying, cheating, and stealing. And you stick up for them. And who pays that price? Okay, I'm just saying. That's, that's what I see here. I see that you might be planning a family with this person. Gift. This is your gift. It's being given to you by spirit. Now, where you go with it is up to you. You know what's coming if you don't pay attention. Let's see what else we got. Expectation, main male, child. Didn't I say children were involved in this? And lovers. So, maybe you're expecting a gift from a main male who has a child who's thinking about you. But there's an expectation here. And that's where you need, you're, you're kind of looking off into the distance. You're not paying full attention to something here. There is somebody here who has children that does nothing but think about you day and night. All right. Maybe the children are the reason why this person cannot come forward at this point. Somebody is very hurt. And there's some there's some really nasty words being said here and lies being told. So somebody is extremely hurt.
double life, wrong direction, gluttony, conceit, intrigue, jury is going to pull one more. Okay. Somebody's a fake here. And a liar. Like I said, this is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Double life. I don't know what the star and fame has to do with this. Wrong direction, gluttony, and intrigue. Curious. Somebody's definitely stalking your social media. Uh, curious about what you're doing, how you're doing it. They see you as a star. They see you as somebody who is um, what they want. But they're living a double life. I mean, with you and some other person. As I said, there are children involved, so that tells me there might even be another marriage involved. And you, and this person is talking about marriage with you, but they're already married. All right. There's some spiritual theft going on here, which means that somebody is praying upon somebody's goodwill, somebody's kindness. And they're... It's like, okay, say when you go to work for somebody and they take 30% of your money just so you can work, all right? That is spiritual theft if you're in any kind of spiritual practice. Yeah. Energy is drained. Somebody is attacking you in your dreams. Somebody who cut you off cold-hearted. Somebody who is an energy vampire. Um, I don't think you want to lose this person, really. But they're never going to be satisfied because they have a mental issue, mental disorder. Yeah, they, they're not going to be satisfied with anything. They're a glutton, glutton, gluttonist. I mean, it's like never enough, never enough. I got to have more. I got to have more. I got to have more. And then they're stuck up and conceited about it. Like, I've got all this and 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 you don't have any. Yeah, this this is not a good that's one of the main seven deadly sins. Is to take 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 and never give anything back. You know. Um I guess we can pull a uh Hidden Realms. Let's see what the Hidden Realms has got to say. Because I don't know which side this is coming from, Capricorn. No, you, you'd know that more than me. The High Lady of Love and Compassion. And I don't want to take this in, into... Uh, a condescending kind of reading. Because this card is telling you to have compassion, oops, reverence, and consideration for other people. Like, if somebody needs your help, I mean, really needs your help, and, and you're able to help them, help them. Don't be a gluttonous. Don't be somebody who just who's selfish, who doesn't care about other people. They just care what they can get. They don't care what, they don't care about other people and, and their issues. They don't care about other people. They don't care about other people, period. All they care about is what they can get out of a situation. That's a number one. Ah, uh, Miss
Okay, so this is an ally for you. When the Lady of love, High Love and Compassion chooses to be a, your ally, she brings you to a deep and meaningful message. She reminds you that only love is real. It is a soul, unconditional, and true power behind all means of manifesting out of the unseen into the material. Love's greatest power, creative power is ignited by the conscious action of compassion. Generosity of the heart, reverence, respect, and empathy for all living beings bring you profound power to live a life of happiness and contentment. Love, compassion, and kindness to all must be the impulse behind your thoughts, feelings, and action when your intention is to create a prosperous and abundant life. Unconditional love will be returned tenfold. The High Lady also reminds you that when she chooses to be our ally, she brings you evidence that you are love. All manner of synchronicities align in your favor. If your question refers to a relationship, you're required to think of the other person and inquire what is in his or her highest good. Give selflessly without asking or expecting anything in return and let go. What is yours will come to you. Kindness always returns somehow. You will surely receive what you give in more ways than you can imagine. So if you had any questions about helping someone, that pretty much, this person may have mental issues and they may be the gluttonous. They may be the one that, that, that is never satisfied. They got to have it all. There's a lot of lot of drama going on here. A lot of uh, conflict around jealousy and downright hatred. So be careful with that, okay? Well, those are my, those are your messages. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.